Yo, what is going on guys? Michael here from MP Fitness. Thank you for checking out the newest video to the channel. Well, that time of the year, halfway through the year, we're dropping our top 10 pre-workouts of 2022. So this list, pre-workouts, anything after that we've filmed from January 1st up until today, super excited to bring this to you guys. So first off, if yours is not on this list, it doesn't mean I don't like it. it just means I probably haven't tried it or yeah, I probably don't like it. So. Uh, if I haven't tried it, comment down below. Let me know what it is. I'll see if I can actually do that for you guys. So let's go ahead and dive into this top 10 pre-workout review right now. All right, guys, number 10 on this list. It's gonna pop up the thumbnails right over here so you guys could actually look at the videos if you haven't done so yet. So number 10, we have Ghost Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So first off, the collab on this, absolutely insane. The taste on it, absolutely insane. The nutrition facts, now it actually hit. It was okay, but it's a great everyday pre-workout, which is why it made the list. So I was actually, I take this one probably pretty frequently. Like if I'm not doing a review, I'll usually go to this or some of the other ones on this list. But this one has been one of my favorites over the last couple months. Number nine, surprise, we got another ghost pre-workout. We have their Bubblicious Cotton Candy. So same thing, the taste on it, on real. The collab, I mean, Bubblicious Cotton Candy, who does not like those two things? My blood sugar literally just spiked just by thinking about those two words right now. It, like I said, the hit, it hits just like the TMNT, underdose and some ingredients, but it's a great everyday pre-workout, which is why it made my list. All right, number eight on this list, we have Greg Doucette's Hardcore Stim. This guy right here, first off, it's a pre-workout you don't wanna take every day, but when you do take it, the energy on it is absolutely insane. The focus on it, second to none. The stims on it, incredible. There's really no pump to it, which is why it's not ranked higher. Other than that, absolutely loved it. But once again, don't take this every day. Number seven on this list, we have raw pre-workout. We have their just simple pre-workout. What I loved about this is that it had high, it had high pump, high focus, and low amount of stim. This is a great pre-workout if you take later in the day. You don't want to take 400, 500 milligrams of caffeine. This had only like 50 to 100 milligrams of caffeine, which is absolutely perfect. And the taste was pretty awesome. So number seven on the list. All right, guys, we got top six right now. Coming in at number six, we have we have Rise. We have their Smarty flavored collab pre-workout. This. Once again, the flavor, 10 out of 10. This is one of my favorite tasting pre-workouts. The nutrition facts on it and how it hits, it's not the best, it's not the worst you get. Right around 390 milligrams of caffeine, all the malate, all that fun stuff. It's a great pre-workout, tastes amazing. I love Smarties, which is why it is at number six. So top five, our number five rated pre-workout of the year is, we have a Naka Power Stim. This, I was very excited to try it. It hits, it's underdose and sub to some extent, but tastes amazing. A pre-workout that you could take every day. Sour gummy worms, literally you open it up and it smells like a bag of sour gummy worms. Once again, I loved it, tasted amazing. It hit, great everyday pre-workout, which is why it's at number five. Number four, we have, we have Nutra Innovations Epitome. This guy right here, once again, you do not want to take this very often. It has so much stims in there, but you get a great pump, you get great focus, it makes you just want to freaking bend barbells, which is kind of what you want in a pre-workout some days. Tasted amazing, like that, that sour lemonade, tasted amazing, it hit, all the nutrition facts are on point, which is why it's rated where it is. It's a great pre-workout, try it. I'm gonna pop it up right here. All right, we're getting in the top three now. This is elite category. We're talking bronze, silver, and gold medal of pre-workouts. Coming in at number three, we have, all right, I had it, I tried to be as objective as I could with this one, and I was as honest with you guys as I could. We have OAC's Olympus, their guy Creighton. They have their, what was Blue Magic, is now Dark Horse. So the one thing I loved about this was the pump and the focus was absolutely insane. It only had 250 milligrams of caffeine, but it literally hit so well. It was unbelievable. This is one of my favorite pre's that I took when I had this guy, absolutely love it. I'm gonna pop that guy right here for you guys. Once again, 
before that, I got the pre-workout before they actually started dropping it. They named it something different, but I called it Blue Magic. He called it Blue Magic. It is now Dark Horse. All right, we got our top two pre-workouts. So number two on this list, we have we have Dark Labs Crack Reloaded. So we did the original Crack maybe like a year and a half ago, and it was absolutely insane. But that one had DMAA, DMHA, all that fun stuff. This did not have any of those stims in there, but the pump on it was very good. The focus on it, absolutely insane. The energy on it, unbelievable. This is one of the most potent pre-workouts I've had without it actually even having all those CNS stims in there, like the DMAA. Unbelievable, it tasted all right for that kind of like high stim pre-workout, it tasted pretty good, which is why it was number two. Now, number one, these top three easily could have gone three different ways, right? It was very hard to distinguish. This is kind of just my subjective standpoint. Number one on this list, the top pre-workout so far of this amazing year, 2022, we have Pandemic. This was one of my favorite pre-workouts. Incredible pump, incredible focus, enough energy to get you through the workout. It was a very high stim pre-workout, but it wasn't too much. This is a pre that I would take like two or three days a week. It was right on that border of being too much. I absolutely loved it. Incredible. I'm gonna put the link to all those guys down in the description. So that was my top 10 pre-workout of 2022 so far. We're a little bit halfway through the year. So we're gonna do one more at the end of the year with all the pre-workouts that we've done. If yours did not make the list, comment down below, comment what it is. Let me know if your pre-workout made this list where you would actually rank it. Let me know, like I said, subjective. It's kind of my personal preference of what I like to do every day or high stim, whatever it is. So I appreciate all the support guys if you haven't done so hit that subscribe button hit that bell get notified I appreciate it and I'll catch you guys next time